The future cults that we'll be told to swallow are the new Islamic terrorist cells that are going to blow up the New York Tunnel and blow up the... All of this is part of a strategy of tension to create fear, to create a new enemy. Now that communism is gone, the new enemy is the independent bungling terrorist who can't get his bombs right, who tries to get money back on his van after he blows up the... <laughs> four times he goes back to get his, his, his re, you know, return. Uh, and it's all based on evidence, or at least we'll call it evidence. Well, it's sort of like the expert said, the bomb that they had was exactly sort of like the other bomb. So if you looked at these two, I'm quoting, if you looked at these two bombs, you'd say, is that like that? And you'd say, yes. This is expert testimony on the connections. Um, you know, and they had almost no evidence, and yet they're willing to go and bomb Iraq one more time. Which tells you also, I think, that Clinton's not in charge. And Clinton's Secret Service cars were right next to the place that the bomb went off. He was going up there on Monday. I think they sent him a little message, you know, uh, either play the game out in Iraq the way you want, you want us to in the Middle East, or, you know, because he's going toward detente and trying to calm things down. And the military's saying, no, uh-uh, you're not going to be a draft dodger this time. You've got to take the forces of the world into their, their natural conclusion. So the idea is that we can't establish any alternative lifestyle. We have to live in distrust and fear of each other. We have to, as my friend Lori in California wears this great button that says, keep quiet, consume, and die. <laughs> the space between our ears is, is, and our history itself is a commodity of the national security state. We can't have a counterculture or a counter economy. We can't survive. We have to sit back and watch in silence as genocide goes on worldwide, as indigenous cultures are smashed as the economy goes to ruin and we all become useless eaters, as terrorism, and especially I think now what's being touted as an atomic terrorist scenario, will be the next level, so that we can go to martial law without any qualms, and then maybe alternative three, so that the select elite can get off the planet to Mars and the moon and leave us behind in the, in the mess that they've left. But I'm not a pessimist, <laughs> because they do all this, realizing the enormous strength of the enemy that they actually face. Not the third world, they're not afraid of them. Not communism, which has fallen on its knees and carrying out the dullest plan of exploitation from the 1940s. They only have one enemy left. You and me, us. And we're the most fearful enemy they can imagine. They wouldn't go to these links if they didn't think we were dangerous. And once we catch on and take our minds back and our lives back, and say no, and the gig's up. Yeah, boy. <laughs>